Prince, Tyler Beast, and Son of Beast here. This is NBA on 2K Sports. This time, it's where it goes in for the last part of a game on the other side of Game 6. Timberwolves against the Phoenix Suns. As you've already seen last game, it was an unbeatable and a breakout scores happen. That most teams, Pascal Siakam's team shuts down the Cleveland Cavaliers with an amazing score of 82 over 81. Now that was a close game. It turned like everybody had gotten in there, but not all of them had it all heard again. And as right now, they're heading into game seven for the next part of the game, as we're about to be seeing what goes in of how this will do with another take. Now this time, it's win or go home for Phoenix Suns as they're facing against the Minnesota Timberwolves for their second to last game. And if it's necessary for game seven, they will have to do this one more time. And now for the last part of it, I have is Kevin Harlan. He's also along with a Q2K sports crew. And finally, with the matchups in between, Mike Carlin was in Anthony Edwards with J.D. McDaniels, Carl Anthony Towns, and Rudy Gobert. Bradley Beals with Devin Booker, then Grayson Allen, Kevin Durant, and the center is Joseph Nurkic. Now let's get you down to Footprint Center to start the game of the NBA Playoffs of Game 6. And Phoenix, Arizona. We'll be back to review shortly, right after the fourth quarter is finished. Let's get going! 2K Sports welcomes you to the following presentation of the NBA Playoffs. Phoenix, Arizona, the destination for the Timberwolves. A great defensive presence. Rudy Gobert is gearing up and looking to dominate for his team as they look towards the game against the Suns. Timberwolves, Suns. The tip-off coming up right after this. Good afternoon, everyone. We're about to get started with some Saturday NBA action brought to you by 2K Sports. Joined by Richard Jefferson and Greg Anthony, I'm Kevin Harley. David Aldridge is with us on the sidelines. And checking out Minnesota's opening line. Towns and Gobert hold down the push for him. Conley is the point. Edwards plays on the wing. And it's McDaniels at the small four. And for the Suns, the big three for the Suns all on the four. Booker and Beal is the guards. And KD at the four. Allen is out there with Durkic. And Greg, take a look at this one here tonight. The clash at the guard positions really stands out. No question about it. Both teams rely heavily on their backcourts to get it done. And I'm interested to see which backcourt brings it tonight. Now oh, here's Towns. Here's Edwards. They got it from Stephanie Edwards. That's what they're looking for from Edwards. Scoring from all areas of the court, even mid-range, keeps the defense honest. Outside, KD. Towns with the steal. A huge flush by Edwards showing off right now. And so Booker will bring it up for Phoenix. Four point game. KD passes to Beal. The basket. Bradley Beal. And once he got to the 10, I think he was surprised to find himself that wide open. Easy possessions like that literally are just a gift. You just dream of them. He'll gladly take those. Now here is Conley. Nice ball movement by Minnesota. Nick Daniels finds Towns over Durant. And it's Towns missing. Here's the Suns with the ball. A 15-footer. Durant. Durant, so dangerous as a scorer. He can shoot it from deep, but also beat you off the dribble there. He just stops and pops. Towns, no luck. Back to Allen. 
Parker outside. Shot clock at six. Minnesota with the rebound. Lots of excitement around the Suns. A big reason, Richard, their new owner. Yeah, taking over in 2023. This new owner played college basketball, winning a national title, and has a great mind for the game, and already has made big changes in the organization. Not quite enough defense. That time around, just lucky he was off. Carl Anthony Towns. Oh, an underrated part of Gobert's game. He has really good vision. And just under two and a half minutes elapsed here in the first. Here's Booker. Gobert with the block. Outside Conley. Over to the wing. Pass to Gobert. And it's Devin Booker with the rebound. Had enough room to finish, and that's one he'll usually make. To the middle. And Nurkic. Yusuf. Nurkic. Devin Booker with the assist. Setting another guy up for success instead of forcing a shot. Conley kicks to Gobert. Back to Conley. Pass to Edwards. Pops in the lane for two. Edwards. Edwards got six. Boy, he is looking confident. Love how they're using him so far. Yeah, but he gets engaged this early in the game. It's bad news for the defense. He could go this far throughout the rest of the game. It's Gobert with the ball for the Timberwolves. Outside Edwards. Over in the corner, Conley. Back to Towns. Puts up a deep three. It's hauled in by the Suns. He missed that one, but I've seen him throw shots from that distance. They warm up. Even though he is capable of hitting that shot, I'd like to see him work for a better look in that situation. Now here's Peel. Great team that time from Edwards. Look, the defense was locked in on him there. They know how to be, and they guarded him. Three. McDaniels dishes the Towns to the inside. And there it is. Three, go ahead. Right to the hips. Gobert has added so much stress as we go back in 2013. It's helped all the And first time out of the game called for Phoenix. And they just can't seem to get going offensively. And Coach called his timeout to try and reset things on offense, shake them up a bit so they can hopefully start getting some shots to fall. Now, here's the thing about this one, Tyler. This is because of what they are expecting you to do. Not everybody's great at it, but they really are making this one a lot prouder to have that one with the better uh, firing scores in the game. But they don't really seem to care about it, anybody, because this is need to be having a little bit of a difficult time. But that has to do with something else that go completely differently. Because of this moment, they need to have that one with another chance and find another way to go with some strategy to roll in the offense and push it up some pressure in the defense there. Yeah, I know it's happening because they're really are making this with a lot of like strong effort of courage. They're doing this too many times. They have no idea what's going on. Because of uh, Frank Vogel, He's definitely bringing your team in there. This is not what it happens right now. And you always expect it right now. Frank Vogel has finished his, uh, his son's head coach maybe because of that playoffs. I don't know what this has happened, but it's, his night is the end of him. He has to find a new contract to get signed in for. Phoenix making some changes. Eubanks, he's checked in for Houston Nurkic. O'Neal comes in for Grayson Allen. Substitutional for the Suns. Double zero. Where's the leader? He's checked in for Number 14, Drew Eubanks. And Rob Nurkic. Number 14, Drew Eubanks. Number 14, Drew Eubanks. Number 14, Drew Eubanks. And by number 14, number 14, number 10, Eric Porter. Oh, man, that stuff is definitely one he'd like back. Almost too wide open. Nice ball movement by Minnesota. Go there, the pass to come. Out to Edwards, to the wing right side. Here's Towns, and that goes to Anthony Towns. And pure cash. 
whenever Towns gets these types of looks, he's consistent at spraying. Look who the best in Durant. And the rejection by Towns. Kevin Durant. Now here's Conley, still without a basket. Outside Edwards. Towns kicks to Edwards. Shot high post and again it's Russell. And this is Conley's game. Just terrific with that mid-range. The D has to be much more concerned. They've been looking at a sick offensively. Yeah, the, their offense has ground to a standstill. O'Neal finds Durant. O'Neal against Edwards. O'Neal passes to Brooklyn. Rudy Gobert, he's really smart defensively. You the best job on the stop. Number 14, Drew Gobert. His first was a little tough. First team back. And a chance for just a second now to check out the scoring breakdown for the Timberwolves. Seven additional 40 Phoenix Suns, number two. Josh Okoji. The jumpers are out of free throw line for the Wolves. Rudy Gobert. With one shot. Inside, getting a lot of points in the paint. Okoji's checked in for Durant. shooter who also plays with a ton of confidence. And he can't hit the second. It's not often you see him fail to deliver at the line like this. Conley kicks to Edwards. Here's Alexander Walker. Here's Towns. Back in off the ball. Anthony Towns. Towns has got six. Yeah, you have to account for Towns on the backboards. He is too big to miss. Conley against Booker. And there's the try. I open Kevin Booker. He has five. Instantaneous offense. Booker gets the hot pass and quickly has that shot in the air. Outside Edwards. Here's Towns. That's it. That's oh, his fourth pass of the night. The chest ball. Solid 57 for shot. And they definitely broke inside in the first half, guys. And then it's paid off. Eubanks with it. Defended by Gobert. Eubanks the pass to O'Neal. Rebounded by the Timberwolves. Towns has got his fifth rebound in this one. Conley finds Towns. Spins over O'Neal. And he gets it oh, in the, the back of the rim. That's and now it's a nine-point Timberwolves lead. And so Booker will bring it up for the start. Here's Eubanks. Move! Eubanks! responsibilities. Booker has matured over the years, becoming a better teammate. And so it's Minnesota with it. Alexander Walker, defended by Gordon. Got a piece 
he sucks. And it's over. Slash touch by Butler. Your walls fall. It gets a feeder on it, but just can't get Now we're going to use the position for the Rebels. Nas re effort. I'm going to keep things easy. Now, um, like I just say, and James McLaughlin. Sure, the ball was out of his hand in time, and it looks the like a review for a nice view shot. The question: Did he get the basket off in time? And the footage relayed to the officials from the replay center in Secaucus, I, I, I think he got it off in time. The replay leaving little doubt. for the quarter with 10 points total. We've got more in store for you right after this. And so far through one quarter, it's been a lopsided game. We'll see if that changes here in a second. And guys, what's your take so far in the Timberwolves? They came in on a mission, razor sharp offense in that first period. Can they keep up the pace? Who knows, but they're already in a great position to win this one. Richard, you know a lot about this subject. Wing defense. You were a great one. Stellar. Who's the best wing defender right now? Thank you for acknowledging my quality defense there, Kevin. But to start and end the conversation with Drew Holiday, that's where it should be. Because look, he can guard an elite point guard and a smart forward. He does so many things well. His hands are elite. And I think the most underrated part about his defense is his IQ. It is off the charts. Terrain is out there with Allen. Then there's Gordon. Then there's Yusuf Nurkic. And it's Beal in the one spot. So that's the Suns five as we get into the second quarter. Now, here's McDaniel. Ten point lead. This is their biggest. It's time now to hear from our Hall of Fame reporter, David Aldridge. That's the latest. Great Harlan. Once upon a time, Kevin Durant said he was tired of being second. Now, some thought he was chasing clout, but he clarified it, saying, I just lost in the finals. It wasn't about, I want to be the best ever. I don't care about that. I want to wake up every day and do what I do. If we win, I know that comes with me being the best that I can be. Kevin? David, I love the fact he is focused on the process. And thank you for giving us the report. The Here's the reason, GA, the lead is what is right now. Yeah, it's going to take better rim protection than that if they're going to climb out of this hole. And so here's Phoenix following the bucket by the Timberwolves. Nobody near Allen. Grayson Allen! Got Three! <laughs> the elevated playmaker of Durant. Passes like that really bring the team closer together. And the best do Alexander Walker. The Timberwolves working the ball around now. Anderson's shot is off. And you can tell he thought he had a little more space. But Kevin Durant! Closing the gap, making the shooter feel uncomfortable. Great teamwork. Three fronts! Strong finish. Three fronts! Nice execution, running with purpose and creating an easy scoring opportunity off the break. Here's Alexander Walker after the Suns pick up two. Reed finds Morris. Reed misses. Suns trail by five. Down low. Here's Allen. Terrific. Allen. All around. It, it really does make the game easy for your teammates when you can be friends. That well. Three. Passes to Reed. Shoots over Nurkic. Reed gets the ball. And the Timberwolves lead by five. I know what they say. Defense wins championships. But you need some bucket getters too now. Passes it to Durant. Inside. Nurkic. 
Devin Wolves, Kyle Thomas, a guy who has come back from major injuries with a resolute attitude. So the Timberwolves called their first timeout. Richard, it's absolutely amazing what Durant can do on the floor on a consistent basis. He's got the height and the size to play inside, the skill to run the offense. He's just a freak out there. Just really like they're wanting to battle it out. Phoenix Suns really wanted to end this thing off here in game six and then head back home for one last time to face against the Timberwolves. But it didn't seem to care for now because they're trying to have another constipation look. This offense cannot be stoppable. They're trying to find another way to get from here. Well, I know what they're saying because they're just trying to like, you know, you can get that one what you want, but this is what they can't do. You know, like Monte Morris, he's really, like, really well professional. After playing with the Washington Wizards, he's now trying to beat against Bradley Beal's team. And this is what he done it. Last season was it. And the end of the season comes to an ear because Bradley Beal is not there anymore. And he's definitely been traded off with the Phoenix Suns. A lot of contracts are out there, and hopefully there might be another chance out there that Monte Morris wants to beat. But hopefully the Suns may have a comeback switch if they can.
to the inside. True to punch the Ube Sexy Jam. And he's an automatic finisher when he gets into that area. He is, and he picks the main approach action to the two points. Now here is Conley. He kicks it to Edwards. McDaniels passes to Towns. And foul so on the so he'll the line. And scores for a small foul. And you got Towns foul. being asserted there when he plays like You're this. You're Minnesota. He really makes Carl the line. Anthony Towns. The line hits you. Started out 0 of 1 from the line. This is their only other attempt earlier. Drops for Towns. And one of the game's elite shooters. And Towns' sweet stroke definitely extends to the free throw line. And that one goes in, too, from the line that time. And that's the norm for him. He's pretty much automatic when he's at the line. To rank for three. Rudy Gobert with the rebound. Timberwolves leading by five. Shoots from the high post. That's Rudy Gobert. Shot. This is his ball. Gobert's got six. Anthony Edwards. Wow. Gobert showing some quickness on that shot. Booker against Conn. Booker right side. In it goes. Love it. Booker! He's missed five so far. Nice job getting inside for the layup. Got the deep thinking jump shot. Gave a little pump fake and then off to the races. Conley against Booker. Pass to McDaniels. Fires away from outside. They get the rebound. And Gobert kicks to Edwards. Six on the shot clock. Conley gets Mike the bucket. The silky smooth eyes of Conley. Then he's so slick and out of hand. He's for himself. Hooker against Conley. Only O'Leary against Conley. Only O'Leary looking around. Has to do a Kogi. Phoenix needs to get off a shot. with the ball. He'll bring it up for the Timberwolves. They've led by as much as 10. Kicks to come. And that does That's it. That's the end of the first half. So the Wolves are Wolves. 43. As they end the season. On a 26. It's time now to go courtside as we send you over to David Aldridge from the sideline. David, take it away. Thank you, Kevin. Carl, you guys have built a lead. What is the key to maintaining or increasing it going forward? I mean, don't change what we're doing. So stay together, keep passing the ball, uh, keep playing great defense, and just keep making them think and make decisions, uh, especially the difficult ones. We had the advantage in the first half. We'll see if you can keep that advantage in the second half. Thanks for your time, man. Back to you, Kevin. Thank you, David. And we'll be back for the third quarter of action following halftime. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey, welcome back to the NBA on 2K Sports. This is Ernie Johnson. Kenny the Jet Smith is right here. Say hey to the folks, Kenny. Hey, folks. Say hey to the yeah, folks, Shaq. Hey, folks. folks. Hey, let's get this party started. Okay. What a start it was for Carl Anthony Towns. He had 12 points, 6 rebounds, and 1 steal. And Shaq, what do you think about what we saw from Minnesota? The difference so far has been the efficiency of their offense. The ball movement is really good. They're not afraid to get the whole shot clock if they have to. Overall, they're And Kenny, what are your thoughts on Phoenix? The energy on D has been for disappointment. They were slow to rotate. Communication was bad. No effort. I mean, the intensity on that end of the floor, where it needs to be, was just not there. Thanks for joining us, folks. We're now just a few minutes away from the start of the third quarter.
You've been watching a 2K Sports Scott Time Show. And we've got third quarter of basketball for you, two quarters in the books. And what can you say, Towns, an impressive effort here. The way he was able to finish on the block was incredible there in that first half. The question now is will the defense keep letting him punish them inside, or did Coach have some new ideas for them? Suns trail by seven. And on the floor for Chris Finch as we get into the second half. The two towering figures inside for him, Towns and Gobert. The wing set for him, Edwards and McDaniels. And it's Conley in at the point. And while we've got a moment, I'd send it over to our terrific reporter, David Aldridge. David? Thank you, Kevin. The Timberwolves have gone Twin Towers with Carl Anthony Towns and Rudy Gobert. Yeah, Gobert yeah, says, yes. I love playing with a dominant big because I always thought that I could pass. I know that I can make guys around me better. Cat says, we compliment each other. He's a generational talent on defense, and I think I'm a generational talent. Hey, hey, hey. I'm a generational talent on sideline. <laughs> you are indeed, that's why you are in Springfield. No argument here, David, thank you. Here's McDaniels. After the main shot from KD, here's Edwards. And the two yeah, Edwards. Edwards. And we are seeing tonight why Edwards was selected first overall. Anthony has a special ability to score. Now uh, here's Beal. It's Rodney Beal. He's got six. Minnesota leading by seven. Talking about Bradley Beal, Greg, I feel like he doesn't get enough credit for his passing game. You know, Kevin, he's really evolved as a playmaker over the years. Sure, we be all know how talented as four, and sure he is, but he is now superb at facilitating. And the Suns call to the side now. Sports is brought to you by of the playoffs. Ruffles, the official chip of the NBA. American Express, don't live life without it. And by Starry Lines. We have a moment to have an upcoming look here as the last game will be happening as a couple NHL games will be game two, but one will be the first look for the second round as we have a first look to get this thing started off here for the NBA second round of the conference semifinals. And we're about to be seeing the Nuggets facing against the Mavericks back at Mile High to show how it is. Well, there's going to be a great matchup in there. Let's hope there is another chance that we have it. Now the all games here only on Sunday beats. Back to Kevin Hart. Walker finds Durant. And looks like up at the grass. That is that's what's gonna get the reason. Every time down the floor, not even close to being a legal screen. That's a very involved ball possession. Gotta focus on the details. Conley against Booker. The pass to McDaniels. Outside Edwards. Goes up to the strike. And there's another and one game to pull. And really the story of this second half. One team getting the shots they want. The other, not so much. And start with their defense. They've been intense on that end. And they can actually help their offense as well. Now here's Beal. He has six. It's Allen on the win. I'll get six. Phoenix, no good that time either. And sometimes on defense, you yeah, can just get lucky. From about 19 feet, Booker pulls it in. Suns trail by 11. Durant dishes to Booker. 
to KD. Good. Kevin! You're right. Ten points for Kevin Durant. Burn Devin Booker. Durant. KD makes those look way easier than they actually are. And it didn't take long for Anthony Edwards to cement himself, Greg, as Minnesota's franchise player. He is one of the best young players in the league with clear superstar potential. The future of the Timberwolves starts with Edwards. Now here's Edwards. Rudy Gobert, this is his last shot. Jaden Dickens. Nick Daniels has four bro. points now. Anthony Edwards. Edwards. Oh, nice read there from Edwards. And he's all for sharing the well. wealth. Here's Beal. Great tee that time from Edwards. And it's Towns with the ball. B. Right. For the Timberwolves. B. Right. Eleven, the largest margin of the game. B. Right. Now, here's McDaniel, defended by Allen. Towns for three. Allen with the rebound. For Phoenix, they've gone three or six in the third quarter, 50% from the field. Beal gets a wide open look. Well, oh, good with the triple. And on an open look like that, he's very gifted at making. Three fights! Three fights! Edwards, three fights! Back to Edwards. Side Towns, the 11 footer. Gobert can't hit. Suns trail by 11. Outside Durant, over Towns, and the Suns miss again. And the activity he shows around the rim it is why he is such a respected defender. Yeah, you can see why he's established oh, that he's a strong understanding of how to defend at the rim. He's time so out. skilled working inside. Towns knows how to operate down low. Timeout called the Suns. RJ, the Suns have been to the playoffs three of the last four years. Kevin, they have a star-studded roster led by Beal, Booker, and KD. They are going to be a problem in the West for years to come. Well, let's just say about this. It looks like Phoenix Suns are really are trying to get them back into the second round. But it wasn't really easy enough, but you're going to have to try and like, figure things out. If you don't play it right, I mean, you just can't just do it on your own. So about the old games here, as we have the Nuggets facing against the Mavericks. After the hockey game, right in between those three, of the alley of the Hurricanes versus against the Tampa Bay Lightning, and then the next game, the Stars against the Jets, that will be the first part of the game of Florida Hurricanes and the and the uh, Lightning second game, and then the Stars facing against the other team. Nope, the Kings versus against the Canucks. But that will be the next game, and then the first look at 9:30 p.m. As we will have to head back to those games a little bit tight schedule here, but as you may already know, they try to have it all, let's see what they can do. Just what they expect, and they can definitely play it for all. Now back to you, Kevin. That's all here on Summit Beats. Phoenix making two changes. Royce O'Neal is shot in Gordon. for Durant. Royce O'Neal comes in for Eric Gordon. Gordon. And Gordon is in for Bradley Beal. Big group substitution now for Minnesota. And Josh is in for Gobert. Kyle Anderson comes in for Towns. Alexander Walker, he's checked in for McDaniels. And Jordan McLaughlin subbed in for Eric Gordon for three. To just 10 points with the bucket from Eric Gordon. This is a do Alexander Walker over Gordon. A shot by Alexander Walker, no good. Phoenix is gone, one of three from downtown. Let's go, Sucks! Basket Nurkic, three-pointer on the way. Offensive rebound, O'Neal kicks to Nurkic over Anderson. Nurkic can it. Very dangerous to leave a guy like that open. Lucky break there for the deep. Offensive rebound. Outside, Edwards. Alexander Walker passes to Edwards. Count it. Anthony Edwards got six points in the fourth. This is unbothered by the contact inside. Alexander Walker game with so much physicality. And here's Booker. He has seven. Your catch dishes to Gordon. Tons it go with a three. A second chance effort. And with that shot, sure, sir. Just 10 points with the bucket. Two the minutes remaining to win it. This is where Two minutes. gets a lot of his points. Staying active even after the shot goes up. Here's McLaughlin. Nothing on the board. It's Edwards on the wing. Elbow shot. Packs the Jeopardy. 
and the two by 12. Yeah, he's in the walk up. Taking what the defenders gave him, but these guys need a gut check right now. Yeah, you'd love to see a little bit more fire on defense. Shoot, any fire on defense. They can't just be giving the game away. Now, here's Nurkic. He's got eight. Here's Gordon. And that one clears the foul. It's the last three. He's the first personal foul player. Bruce Lee's been one of the best role players in the league. The Lions are going to be excited. Eric Gordon. In a moment here to take a look at the scoring breakdown for the two. line for two. Their offense has been a well-oiled machine. They're moving the ball around, playing for one another, and just piling up assists. And one other thing, I, I love how comfortable they are looking to operate from mid-range. And no qualms about taking those wide-open jumpers. The free throw drops for Gordon. Morris is checked in from Minnesota. Minnesota walks. Dante walks. left here in the third quarter. Minnesota leading by 10. Out to the wing. Morris looking over the floor. Anderson kicks to Morris. Here's Alexander Walker. Alexander Walker's got the lead up to 13 now for the Timberwolves. Booker against Morris. Booker, right side, has to do a Kobe. And the officials call him for a three second violation. And just a little too lax with that possession, and it cost him. And if they want to come back in this game, look, they got to clean up those mistakes. Minnesota's gotten fewer than half of their three pointers to go down tonight. They are four for nine. Three Fritz! Three Fritz! Here's McLaughlin, defended by Gordon. A three from Morris. Headshot off. Suns trail by 13. Six second difference between shot and game clock. Gordon finds Nurkic. Back to Gordon. And again, it's the Suns missing. Now, Reed. Morris outside. For Booker, and it's good. Oh, the the Morris. Is Morris has got five. That's the, the end, end of the third quarter. Morris is at a low 64. Timberwolves lead by the Suns. 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 Coming your way on 2K Sports right after this. Four quarters, the last one to be. Let's see who will take the win and move on. It's going to be close all, do or die for Phoenix Suns. Let's bring it on. And a chance right now to show you our State Farm assist of the game. Yeah, and I, I like the fact we get to see this pass one more time. A magnificent feed, and you love to see your off guard taking over the playmaking duties with this much skill. Not just playing selflessly, but also making a smart decision with the ball. Quarter to go in a game that to this point has not been an evenly fought contest. A big three for the Suns, all on the floor. Booker and Beal as the guards, and Katie at the four. Really is out there with Grayson Allen. That's who's out there for Phoenix. Catching them by surprise. It's not often go there. Strikes from any kind of range. A drive by Booker. Overcoming. Seven. Booker. You can expect him to make it when the D is trash like that. And so it's Conley bringing up the ball for the Timberwolves. To the wing on the left, McDaniels passes to Towns. Now the feed to Morris. Shoots over Beal. And oh, the Morris. That's good on the assist this from Conley. And Mike the Timberwolves lead by 17. Booker against Conley. Booker with it. 
floats it up there for Nurkic. No good that time. <laughs> and that was lining up to be a huge alley oop, but they just couldn't quite connect. Just go to show how tight your timing needs to be on this kind of play. Sun shooting 47%, pretty south. Makes it out to Booker. Rudy Gobert with the rebound. Gobert's got his eighth rebound here tonight. Conley's shot is off. Suns trail by 17. Here's Allen. Richmond. Allen. KD's got five assists. Seven to win. Booker against Conley. Morris outside. Back to Conley. And Gobert against the Conley. On the wing, Morris. And that one is good. Okay. Morris has got four points now in the quarter. Man, he's a pure point guard with, with terrific vision. Conley finds open teammates at times before they realize they're open. And that will be so far. Coming up Rudy Gobert. Rudy Gobert. Gobert. Yeah. With the foul. Yeah. It's first person to go foul. It's going to be a Rudy Gobert. First team foul. Clearly a foul. The line here to the eight sons. Bradley Beal. And a line for two. The Timberwolves making a switch here. Edwards has checked in. And both free throws good for Beal. Here is Conley. Just a little under two and a half minutes have passed now here in the fourth. Outside, Towns. That's in there. Oh, with the and Towns. And Four the Timberwolves three. lead by 18. It really is something else to watch a guy like Towns shoot from that far out. Here's Katie. To come. The Timberwolves working the ball around now. Gobert, the pass to come. It works with it. Over Beal. And again, it's Minnesota. Right. Yeah, and Edwards. when you watch Edwards, expect him to get his a prolific score. Booker against Connor. Outside Beal, 13 feet away. Rebounded by the Timberwolves. Gobert's got rebound number nine now. What an effort here tonight. Towns kicks to Conley. Fourth quarter of play and over three and a half minutes have gone by. Five to shoot. Edwards passes to Gobert. And it's in. Pass to number six for him thus far. He's he only missed up. two shots yeah, from the yeah, floor. Edwards. Oh, just a beautiful textbook bounce pass. You love to see it. Outside Durant. Booker with it. Now guarded by Tom. Nurkic can't hit. Timberwolves leading by 20. Down low. Here's Edwards. Good in the answer. Edwards Edwards got 12 points. And even when under duress, Edwards stays calm, which is what allows him to still score on tough defense. Now here's Beal. Over Edwards. No good on the shot. A bit long that time. It's Gobert with the ball for Minnesota. They've given up just eight points in the fourth quarter. Edwards kicks to Conley. McDaniels dishes to Conley. Let's it go. Here's Gobert. 
And the rebound by Norkic. Norkic has got eight rebounds in this game. Here's Beal. It's Bradley. Beal. Points in the corner. Carter. Even with the contact, Beal does not clinch. Conley against Booker. The pass to McDaniels. Here's Conley. Rebound by the Suns. Norkic has got nine rebounds in the game. Getting it done. And it's Durant. KD. Well, Durant loves be making the defense sweat a little bit right now. Whenever he gets into a rhythm, he gets aggressive. Passes it to McDaniels. Here's Gobert. Nice. Great. Gobert. Why fade away? It just makes it all time more out. difficult if you have to ask me. And the Suns call time. You have to like what we're seeing from Anthony Edwards. And whenever the D has thrown at him, he's had an answer. His offense is coming naturally to him because he keeps things simple. You hear that, people? Keep things simple. Keeping things separate and keeping things strong. I mean, that's what all what happens now. I mean, they are just pushing their way through. I mean, how can you let it stop them and slow it down? I mean, what do you have to expect if you wanted to, like, try to make them over with? Well, there may not be anybody, but that all idea has to be important. And they got to see what they can do to try to make them spell for it and put a stop on them. They're really going to make this a lot challenging. But who are you trying to take on to? Well, I, uh, I don't know how this is going to happen, but um, it may not be what you're expecting to find out what you're looking for. Do you understand that? Because I have a lot of big, big difference to have to for. The challenge doesn't have it all. I mean, they're really expecting right now, Tyler. They keep it on the way, and they go. Yeah, of course. <laughs> Just make the moment, make the feel alive. I encourage you now. All right, time for New Balance Player of the Game. What do you have, Kevin? And now we present our New Balance Player of the Game, Anthony Edwards. And his percentage from the field tonight seemed almost made up. I, I didn't think it was possible to have that kind of success shooting basketball. You, you need a little bit of luck, a bunch of hard work, and a whole lot of talent. And as the star of this team, he knows he's going to be the object of the crowd's anger. Suns trail by 20. Booker up top, defended by Gobert. Fires, high post. Phoenix, no good that time either. Minnesota's gone to the three pointer 11 times a game. Two the main, the the two minutes. Edwards looking it over. Shoots over Norkic. Phoenix grabs the miss. Looking to get it going. And two free throws. Go up, up. Unable to get the ball in any doubt. He's first person on foul. And Sick of team so down. active on offense, which really forces the line for the Phoenix Suns. Yeah. Devin Booker. On the line for two. shows underway, so we will have that one coverage up after we wrap things up for the Suns and the Timberwolves. That's going to be on the other side after this game is finished. Both free throws good from Booker. Here's Conley. 137 left in the fourth quarter. To McDaniels. Now here's Edwards. Shot from 12. And he comes in with Edwards. Edwards got six points in the quarter. And one team is just completely outclassing the other tonight. Spirited performance. 
and it really ignited what is turning out to be a monster win here for Minnesota. You don't see this kind of a blowout often, but tonight this is a quality win across the board to deliver out uh, this kind of punishment. They definitely never changed the approach. They just kept after it and showed they were clearly the better team in just about Lawrence Oh, and you know, looking back at all the contributions tonight, it was a really phenomenal all-around game for Anthony Edwards. And he was getting buckets all night long, giving the defense that work. Conley finds Gobert, and that one Rudy falls Gobert. off Conley's feet. This is the and they Ryan Conley determined to take this one. It's going to be a happy flight home. And as it should be, to be this dominant on another team's floor, but when you go home, you're going to go home feeling good. Lawrence O'Neal. Oh, yeah. Now here's Conley. And here is McDaniels. Over on the corner, Edwards. Pass to Gobert. Here's Towns. Takes the assistant. Oh, and and Towns. Pick out the pass. Oh, this guy. And the two fleet by 20. Just one second between the shot clock and game clock. And that Bradley Beal. For three. It's always great to get into a rhythm, but yeah, they it it's a shame, really. If they've been playing like this last quarter, they might be in a different situation right now. Now Conley. Thanks very much. Rudy, your impact on the game defensively always something to watch. What's your approach at that end? Just trying to win games, you know, and uh, my teammates were out trusting me, being aggressive on balls and trying to be aggressive at the rim, and, you know, we play as a team that we tonight, it's tough to beat us. You were in full stifle tower mode tonight, man. Congrats. Back to you. All right, David, thank you. And that'll do it, folks. This is Kevin Hogan saying thank you for tuning in. So long, everyone. Kevin, thank you so much. And this one was a fantastic game now. As all the Western Conferences of the standing has already been complete, thereby finally are ready to move on to face against the OKC Thunders, the third seed team in a battle range between the two on two aversion. It's going to be a tight one to take. Yeah, I know. I mean, what you can always expect now is Minnesota Timberwolves. They are making its way to the second round to face against the third seed team. A tight one race, and this is what they have been seen have been done before. And hopefully by that next season, it's going to be what they expect to do to keep it in here. For one, they say all do. I mean, they, they may see what goes in now. I mean, you got a lot of what you wanted to do. And here's how I deal with the total statistics. 62 field goals for the Minnesota. Then they only had 45 for percentage for the Minnesota with the three pointers. Then it was 75% of the free throw for Phoenix Suns. Then it turned to be a 16 fast break points for the Phoenix Suns with the points in the paint 42 in a row. Eight second chance points even up for Minnesota and Phoenix. Then bench points was only 15. Then it was 37 assists here for Minnesota that turned to be a way over a man. And take that one in between the new half. And it was 7 defensive rebounds for Phoenix Suns, 27 defensive rebounds for the Minnesota. Phoenix Suns takes 2 steals and 3 blocks put up for Minnesota Wolves as Rudy Gobert denies it. That's unbelievable you could take. Then with 3 turnovers with 7 points off for Minnesota, 2 team fouls on Phoenix Suns. Then it was 4 dumps made for Phoenix Suns, then 22 biggest lead and 17-24 was their time possession for Minnesota. And this is what they did is, 
You can't make them at him without any heart bring game at all. Yeah, I know. It's just what they always expected now. I mean, you can definitely understand what they all have been expecting to. Got to keep it in there. Now it's time for three star plays of the game. I send you over, Tyler. Here, take care. All right, thank you so much. As right now, this is all for the game. As we start things over, it's all for the Suns. Rudy Gobert with 16 points, the 13 rebounds, and three assists. He made two blocks of his appearance, 8 out of 12 field goals, and only 22 performance effort. He had just finished it significantly to have that all in, in effort. Then that one comes up into the second star. We now move over into the other side of the zone. You'll see what happens now. Because at this point, this happened with one of each in between. Carl Anthony Towns with 19 points with 10 rebounds and 3 assists, 1 steal and 1 block. A out of 14 field goals and 1 3 pointer has made the tip and a deep 3 pointer made that one with a 3 3 pointers right in between. 25 performance effort and 1 dunk has performed to have that one knocking in. He's pretty great. Keeping it in here for just a while now and now he's ready to take his next opponent in. And your number one star player of the game for your new New Balance, say hello to one of our friends, Anthony Edwards, with 23 points, 2 rebounds, 8 assists, only had 11 out of 14 field goals, 1 three-pointers on the first side, and then 1 three-pointer on the other side, with 40 performances, and 1 dunk has made. He is a star. Got to believe for your moment that ever comes. Yeah, it's always what happens now. I mean, just take all of it, what you can get. The credit is up to you. And as I was mentioned, Minnesota Wolves will be facing against the OKC Thunders again in a Western Conference in the semifinals. Then, the Nuggets are facing against the Mavericks with their first look after three hockey games. And we will have that one with the other side of a courage to show you what goes in. Then... The last one will be Game 7 for the Cavaliers and the Pacers. That will be after the first look. And then, as we continue here for the second round, here right after those two, this was the only Game 7 that will happen in the first round for the Cavaliers and the Pacers. They are on a tight run that far. Not a close call. Yeah, I was understanding what they can do. Maybe it's because the Cavaliers wants it. Maybe they want to face against the Heat. Or, Pacers wants a rematch against the Heat. What goes with the figuration if you want to do the rival games? You might have to just know that one here. In the playoffs in the spot, you got to get that one currency at all time. With that being moment, I hope that everybody's enjoying the NBA playoffs on 2K Sports. And so do you. If you want to stick around here for the next part of the game, keep your eyes out for the next one. It'll be coming in there right away. A reaction video will be returning soon, so hopefully... This will be the end of it, and I'll probably make another mile, some milestone, so it can be a long thing. And I'm making a short one. And also about the travel vlogs, about the BFDI Dynamics Sandy Tour of 2024. Oh, okay. This might be a great fun favorite. In the meantime, now, that's it for me, and Tyler Beast for sure. Peace out, folks, for a while as the NBA playoffs on 2K Sports. I'll see you all again. For the next game, have a great night in the Valley of the Phoenix, Arizona, along with Lake 10,000 Lakes in the, in the land of Minnesota. Until next time. If you don't, if you don't, somebody will.